Hello friends, welcome back. This is Manish Pandey. Today, in this video, I am going to show you how to use set data action, which is a part of walk queue review. Set data action is used to update or add more information to walk queue in Blue Prism. Set data allows you to save or commit data from collection to queue. For example, we have this Excel file and I'm going to add these data to queue. And let's say I have one more column here that is total. So this field we have and total means we are going to calculate this unit cost multiply by quantity. So it will multiply and it will enter here. We are not going to directly do the total. On the runtime, we will update the data to work queue. So your work queue will have these columns including this total also but in the total you will not have data only on runtime it will multiply these two fields of value and then it will update to the queue itself now let me add a few items to queue so we'll go to this we'll add these items so right click set next stage and right click on on the end and click on run to this stage so now you can see we have added 10 items to queue. You can go here and right click refresh and you can see here now we have 10 records we just now added. Now I'm going to show you how to update value to queue, how to set data to queue. So we'll go to our work queue view, this here. So to update the queue item, that value, first we need to get next item one by one and then on runtime we need to update, right? So we have this get next item. Let me just move. Now after processing this records, I'm going to make the total. So how can we do that? So let me first and delete this one. Take one calc stage and this calc stage we are going to use to multiply unit cost and quantity. So we'll take this queue collection because we are getting this data from get next item and we are storing here so double click here and total amount something will write here so queue collection let me take the column name so we have unit cost so queue collection dot unit cost multiply quantity so we'll update here quantity so we are going to multiply these two fields of value and then we'll store in one field so that is let me take this queue collection dot and we are going to update this to our collection that is total you can see we are going to add this total now these are currently text we need to convert this to number so we'll take here one two number let me click here two number and then take this value here and paste here same way we'll cut this and we'll paste here and then right now we are going to store here now click ok now after calculation we are going to take one excellent stage double click on that and we'll take here walk queues and we'll select set item and we'll select set data and here we need to pass that collection which we are going to update so set data except only the collection of data which matched with this item id so we'll pass this item id and we'll update the same collection this one because we are storing this data here in the same collection so one by one data will get in the collection we'll store here and then we'll set the data to queue and if you want to check that the data has been set to that specific queue item or not so for that after this set data what we can do we can take one more action stage and in that one we'll use walk queues and then get item data get item data will give you a collection of data against that item id so we'll pass the same item id 
and now we'll store this in the updated queue and then we'll see that we have data updated in our queue or not this one and link this right click set next stage step over step over now we have this queue collection and you can see here in this we have one total got item yes now total amount so it will calculate that and it will store to this collection and you can see here now we have amount that is 75 so 5 multiply 15 that is 75 now we are going to set this data this 75 to the queue so we'll run this now using this set data action we have updated our queue now step over we have just used get item data to get the updated information from the queue now you can see here in this one now we we are getting this so get item data is giving us the data from queue so based on this we can understand okay data has been set to queue after running this get item data if you are not getting value in this total it means your set data didn't work now we have just completed this now again and now you'll see here once I will run this part so we'll have the updated value here also right now let me run this and you can see now in this one now we are getting 117 and here this is collection same amount right so by this way you can use set data action to update the data to queue i hope this is useful if so please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet thank you so much for watching this video and please share with your friends in your group thank you if you want to learn ui path rpa then you can visit my youtube channel youtube.com slash ui path rpa if you want to learn blue prism from udemy so i have created one course for blue prism rpa complete course on udemy so you can go there and you can purchase that course and you can get the certificate from there i will enter the the referral code and the link in the video description you can go through that i hope you like that one thank you so much for watching this video